Well, my friends, it's finally finished. Man, I've never taken so long to do any kind of artwork in my life. But, you know, uh, the thing with artwork, especially when you're doing things that take a long time, like painting, which is usually a lot longer than drawings, uh, it can take a goddamn long time. And uh, I don't like the lighting on this, actually. Uh, hang on a second. Let's close the blinds here. Stupid blinds. Oh, yeah. So, for those of you who are uh, recent subscribers or haven't been following my work on this painting, this is the model behind it. Literally a model. Uh, an old kit uh, built, uh, Peterbilt uh, 379 Wrecker that I bought and that's pretty much how I got the idea of how to do this painting here. Oh, that looks better. Well, somewhat. What if I go over here? Anyway, well you get the idea. It's a hell of a painting. And uh, I started working on it in December sometime. And I would work on it here and there, just taking my time on it. But, you know, the thing is me, I'm an obsessive person, you know. And therefore, you know, with summertime that came around, spring came around, summertime, and we had so many beautiful days. I'd be going out there and, you know, filming videos for you guys of, you know, heavy trucking and trains and planes taking off and subways and, you know, old cars and even elevators. And uh, I just kept putting this off. I said, ah, I'm going to save it for a rainy day. But there weren't that many rainy days, except that so far, August, uh, summer has been on hold for the past week here in Montreal. And um, it's just, you know, also like a lot of things in life, paintings is one of those things where when you take a long time to do it and, um, you know, you know, you basically, you know, you're almost finished, but you get fed up, you get tired of working on it. Um... You know, especially for the stuff that's more boring, like all the little details on the on the road here, and and the uh, the Montreal Nova bus right here. That's what I finished with. And yeah, it's not perfect, but listen, I mean, fuck, I could go. Uh, you know, take me a year to finish this goddamn thing because, you know, I'm a perfectionist, and you gotta know sometimes when to quit. And the thing with paintings also is that, unlike drawing. Uh, you know, when I used to do drawings and pen and markers, uh, if I made a mistake, it wasn't a big deal or it wasn't as hard to make a mistake and you couldn't really correct it, you know what I mean? It would be the way it is, but with painting, you can correct your mistakes usually. And sometimes even when you correct your mistake, you make a mistake and then you got to fix it again. So how many times did I have to, you know, fix these fucking wheels or these windows, the, the glare and the reflection on the windows, the, even the Peterbilt too. Uh, the grill alone, not the not the framing, just the fucking grill alone took hours, hours. I had to redo it. I had to redo all the grills because they, they weren't the way I liked them, you know. Um, so, yeah, it was a very challenging painting. And uh, even the trees, I'm not crazy about them, but it's all right, let's just say, you know. And uh, so you can imagine... Uh, it would take a shitload of buckaroos for somebody to buy this from me, you know. And uh, oh, I want to show, I want to show, I want to show you guys something else here too. Uh, just to show you how I'm not full of shit or anything, and I'm a guy who's always on the level and always keeps it real and tells everything the way it is. Here, take a look at my eyesight here. My, take a look at my glasses here, just to show you my lenses. You see, so I don't drive, man. I'm visually impaired. I've been like that since I was a kid. But it's never stopped my my fever, my obsession with vehicles, you know. And if you look at my little living room here, my four and a half apartment here in Montreal, well, it pretty much says it all. You know, here's my limousine painting with the Iberia 747. And uh, this beautiful old picture, which isn't perfect, far from it, a very old antique I got for $6 at a second-hand store. Can you believe that? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Here's a collage I did with all my, all the some of the best photos I took at the Orange Julep restaurant. They would have shows there since God, God knows how long they've been having shows there. And I put all this together in a canvas. And anyway, I have another video of that. So that's about it. I'm satisfied. And my pizza's ready. So uh, 
I'll give you a plug. I'll give a plug there to the company, you know. Yeah, you see that there? It's not delivery, it's delicio. <laughs> anyway, so that's about it. Uh, I wish you all a nice day, nice afternoon, nice evening, you know, and all that stuff. And uh, see you on the flip side, as I always say. Bye.